So my buddy Justin let me borrow his Edelchrome Slider X Plus, so I'm going to show you how easy it is to put together. First things first, make sure the slider is locked by having it centered, push that up, slide that on and turn it until it's tight. Grab this slider motion wheel thing, screw it in to tighten it, and then plug in your, what is this, a, a modem cable link to link. I'm not using the focus module because um, I use autofocus lenses because I don't have time for focus. Take my A6500, screw it right in. Got a 35 mil lens on there. I'll turn that on for you. See how it's pretty much centered? You got a bigger camera, it's easy to adjust. You just loosen one of these screws here. Then you can like drop it down or raise it up. This is about right. And your balance doesn't need to be perfect because they're not brushless motors, but it does need to be close. Then I'll throw in two batteries and you'll hear beep. There's the beep. Okay, now we turn on our app. Slider plus, searching for a device, it'll show up. And it's on the ground or tripod. You need to have this locked and centered, so I click on the ground. It beeps, adjust your pan and tilt as shown. Adjust pan and tilt as shown, done. Okay, so then I unlock it and say I want it to circle this Tim Hortons cup. I'll slide it to the first position. See how it's kind of rough to push? I had to do that so that it worked really well. When it was too easy to slide with the motor engaged, it didn't work well for motorized moves. So here, I'll point at the Tim Hortons cup, and then I will click record. Now I'll go to my second position, and point at the Tim Hortons cup, and I'll just not do anything, it'll, there. And set the speed 100, and it's starting to do the move. Here, I'll push record. So I can do a pretty cool wraparound move in like no time at all from not even having it built. Pretty good. So if I want to stop it, I'll click this slide button. If I want to send it to A, I'll click A. And I'll quickly reset it to the A position. If I want to only run from A to B, I'll click this. And now it just does the A to B move. If I want to slow this thing down, when it's done, I'll click here to stop it. I'll change my speed to 59%, which means it's a 20 second move. And say I want that to go on loop, I'll just hold the slide button here. And now it's on infinite loop. So now it's doing a 20 second move each way. So that was really easy to set up, works really well. And now uh, we'll put it on a tripod to show you how much easier it can be there. Oh, just disconnected for a second, but it, disc it reconnects. That's good. Stop, okay, I'm going to center it. Lock it, turn off my A6500. Let's unplug these batteries for fun. Okay, now I'm gonna put it on a tripod to show you how easy that is. You're gonna need to throw a sandbag on it, so put the sandbag on that side. It says to keep the legs as wide as possible, but you know, sometimes you won't be able to do that. There. Got sandbag on there for good luck. And now let's grab this thing and on the 3 8 you kind of just set it right here and tighten this. There, nice and choich. So then I will loosen this here and uh, I guess the bag should be on the other side. Ah, whatever. Loosen this and make sure the bubble level is 
level. Tighten that up really good. So it's up here now. And then I gotta grab my phone. Throw some bats in here. It's gonna turn on, searching for a device. Found it, on the ground or on tripod, on tripod. This is locked. Pan and tilt as shown, close enough. Okay, now we do the exact same thing. We loosen it and see how it's hard to push. That's so that the motor always engages properly. Turn on my camera. Let's aim at something. Let's set up a lamp. I'll put this here for now so it doesn't fall. Okay, I've got the lamp set up. Put my phone down. Aim at the lamp. Click record. Come over to the second spot. Turn it. Point at the lamp again. Push record. This is going to stop and it'll start its loop. So now we're spinning around this white lamp on this tripod. It's kind of heavy on this side, so I'm going to keep a hand on it just in case. Everything worked out and it's going back the other way. This thing works very well and very quickly, very impressed. And I can't wait to hopefully get one of my own. Highly recommend it. I guess just for fun, I'll go back to the table. Click record. I'll loosen this up. Back on the table. Lock, lock. It's going to start up. Searching for a device. Device found on the ground. Tilt as shown. All right, and then I guess I'll end it with a target. So let's put a pair of scissors down on top of my coffee cup. So I line that up and then I click lock on this target. Set, slide your camera a distant position. So we slide it down here and then we will aim it back at the orange scissors. And I think what it should do, click done, is just keep that target in frame using math. Which uh, it looks like it's doing pretty well. So there, I showed you record, I showed you target. Uh, what else can I show you guys? I guess I can also show you live mode, no, manual slide. So manual slide, you just hold down and you can go left. All right, the higher you put your finger, uh, the higher the reflex, so it'll just cut to the other side quickly. Cut quickly, and if I put it low, it'll ease it and then slide it over. So I guess if I slide it to the left, you know, nice and easy there because my, what is it? My reflex is on low, and then if I wanna start sliding to the right again, I'll just slow it down and yeah, that was really smooth. I guess if it's a live performance where you're in charge of the sliding and you want it to be really smooth, this works well. All right, anyways, the slider's great, I love it. Let's take it apart, take off two batteries, unscrew the camera, it takes like one second. And then, you know, undo this so this doesn't break. Uh, you can slide this off separately from the extension to make it stand up higher. Slide off this extension and then take these two off. Where'd that go? And uh, yeah, pretty, pretty versatile. 
I guess you can also use it as a normal slider too, but why would you if you've got all this cool stuff?